Okay, um, hopefully the background music in the background isn't too loud. Uh, I spent like five minutes, which I hopefully was enough messing with the settings. The Back for Blood closed beta has been live for about, uh, I'd say like a day and a half. Unfortunately, if you want to participate, it's too late, except for, you know, there is a way. But uh, the closed alpha was like months ago, I think back in May or something, back when the game was originally supposed to release. And then after that was over, you could sign up for uh, future like beta participation. You, um, the whole thing involves you have to go to the website, you have to create a Warner Brothers account, sign into the account, choose your preferred systems, all that kind of crap. And then um, if you were lucky, they sent you an email with uh, a link on how to, you know, an email saying you were invited to the beta and then a link on how to redeem your key on whatever platform you wanted. Uh, it's it's only available on Xbox and Steam right now, the beta. Unless maybe I didn't choose PlayStation as a platform. I don't know, because it only gave me those two options. However, um, if you do have a friend that's in the beta, each of us got three additional invite codes. So we all actually got four um, beta Steam keys or whatever, Xbox keys. Um, I, I myself still have two left. I gave out one already. And I, I've seen a few people I know that have given out some keys. But uh, the closed beta ends in like a day or two. And then the open beta starts, I think, on the 10th. What is today? Today's the 7th. Eight. Nine. So I, th I think the open beta starts either Tuesday or Monday. But it's weird because the closed beta explicitly says uh, once this this period is over, you can participate in the open beta, but you can't access this specific uh, version anymore. So I'm, I'm just kind of confused like what the difference is. Like, uh, are they using a totally different, older version for the closed beta than the open? Whatever. We'll f I guess we'll find out. Anyway. I, I hope my mic isn't too loud. I Like I said, I honestly, like, screwed with the game. Like, I must have turned it up and down, like, 30% each way. Uh, so... I'm, I'm, just, I'm making a new video because the first one, you couldn't hear me. And, it, you know, not that I was necessarily saying anything that matters, but um, I did have, you know, I, I, I was saying things. So once you sign into your, um, what's it called, Warner Brothers account, this is like the staging area. Uh, over here, you can get to the main menu, technically, by talking to this annoying, you know, cliche. Um, over here is the quartermaster. I'm not sure that you can necessarily do anything over here, at least not in this uh, beta build. Because uh, as you can see, there's nothing to press or, or anything. It just shows some of the guns that are in the game. Hopefully there are more guns than this, because that's only eight primaries, nine primaries, including the machine gun. And then there's like a the pistol is one of the secondaries, the Glock over there. Uh, you know, there's a Vector, there's a Uzi. You got some kind of a bolt action stair, uh, uh, stair scout or something. Scar, M16. Uh, there's a shotgun here. There's an M14 and there's an AK-47. And then the Quartermaster also shows it, it, it doesn't explain it to you, but it, it actually does display the fact that there are mod weapon modifications in the game. Uh, so while you're you're playing, you'll find these boxes and, and stuff that have weapon parts in them. You can change... Some of them are like, you can change out weapon stocks, you can get a, a double stack, you know, like a 
taped magazine or whatever you want to call that thing, that holder. Um, you can get a long barrel, there's an ACOG, there's a, a sniper scope, there's a compensator thing for the end of the barrel. Uh, I think that's a laser sight over there. What else is here? Uh, these are just tools, I believe. I don't think they're actually melee weapons. Um, yeah, this doesn't really... Is that toilet paper? What is it? Double, double something butt tissue? <laughs> uh, and then you can see the modifications change the weapons, and, and obviously they will change the weapon stats. Like, this is a different shotgun than the one up there. This is a sawed-off shotgun. Uh, there's a revolver here that I haven't seen in game yet. There's also a uh, sawed-off double-barrel shotgun that you can use as a secondary, which sucks, and I wouldn't recommend ever using it. Again, this is a beta, so hopefully this kind of expands a bit. You can go up on the walls here and, and look out. There's a target range that you can practice shooting at. This whole area is called Fort Hope. It ties into the story in, in some way that I obviously don't know because it's a beta. Um, over here is your card section. So I, I tried to talk about this in my previous video. It's This isn't just a straight translation of, of Left 4 Dead. They had to add modern mechanics to it. So when you play, you choose these cards. Uh, they're called action cards. Basically, these are your perks for each, each section of the campaign. I think each time you go to a safe house... If, if you collect new cards, you can equip them, you can swap them out, or you can just normally swap your, your deck out, you know, what cards are in your deck. And then there's also corruption cards, which are like mutators, basically. They, they change stats on the enemies, like, you know, they have more health, or they hit harder, or whatever the case is. Um, over here is... This is the currency system, so it's called supply lines. Um, you can unlock, like, equipment and items, basically, using this these supply points, which you get at the end of each, I think, each section of the, the campaign. Uh, there's a garage here that doesn't really do anything. It's just a big garage. And apparently there's, like, a permanent supply of 25 copper... Every time you log in. Uh, but that's about it for the staging area slash Fort Hope. So to actually play the game, you can you can press escape. Actually, no, you can't press escape. I lied. Uh, you go to the, the guy... Um... The versus mode was allegedly removed from the game. I, I don't really know what that's all about, and I don't honestly care. Because there's a PvP mode called Swarm that isn't available in this beta. And I guess this is the versus mode that's in the beta. I don't want to play it. Cancel. And then you got Quick Play, which is just like Left 4 Dead Quick Play. Uh, but you can just hit quick play and, and Q to find other randos, or you can invite people. Um, the invite system is kind of wonky because it doesn't it doesn't just like pop up with a Steam overlay to invite your friends, but you can you can just go straight into the Steam friends list and invite people from there, uh, and you can also join off of people in the friends list. All right, I'm not sure the campaign mode even works. I'm just going to do a quick play. We'll, we'll unwittingly put some random people on YouTube.
just what I want. Why is this thing not blown up? What the hell's going on? I was talking about the uh, fuel canister back at the, the spawn to blow the wall up. Let's do this. have been showing up in increasing numbers around Finleyville, and I think I know why. We've identified what we believe is a major infected incursion point at the old Blue Dog Mine. I dispatched a cleaner team under Palisaro to deal with the situation. The last transmission we received from them was that they were approaching the mine but facing heavy opposition. Because I needed someone that followed orders. And how did that work out for you? I needed people I can trust. You want to earn mine again? Find out what happened to them. And seal Blue Dog Mine. Still got it, HR. Still got it. Heading out. Taking this. to be a family.
just what I wanted. That'll do. Never know when I Bring might need here. this. will save you time on foot. Here's hoping you can drive back with Palisaro and the rest of his team. Handgun here. One for all, eh? Be needing this. One of the cool things I, I like is you, um, as you go through the game, Shotgun. you get covered in blood, and uh, so do your your guns and your equipment. Which obviously makes sense because it's called back for blood. Ammo here. Well, what do you know? Uh, need to fix this up. It's your lucky day, HR. Just what I want. Handgun. Ah, nasty. Razor wire.
god, it's hideous. Whatever it is, we need to destroy it. that. Heading in. Ammo here. No way through. Whatever it is, I doubt it's bringing cookies. Uh. Ammo here. Reloading. the worse for wear. You can see the crossplay on the left. Um, two of us are on Steam, and one person is on PS5 or 4. Quiet now. My husband's sleeping. Just got a touch of that flu that's been going around. I remember them saying it would clear up by spring. Yeah, but we should get tested anyway. My Ben wanted none of that. Well, can't trust those government types. Isn't that right, honey? No, oh, my sweet man. I don't know what I'd do without him. Hmm? What's that? <laughs> Probably have fun, you say? Oh, 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 Ben. You are a goof, Benjamin Woods. Now get your rest. Don't let these folks disturb you. <laughs> Come on. 
Looks like we have a straggler. Shotgun here. over here. I need to tell you, I need to hear myself say it. When Flats came, I saw it happen, and I did nothing. I was scared. So scared. None of us knew what was happening back then, sweetheart. No. You don't understand. It was my family. My parents. I watched them die and did nothing. Worse, I ran. You didn't know what was happening. None of us did. You saved yourself. If you'd done anything more, you probably wouldn't be here today. But they were my family. I should have... We all wish we could have done something different. Truth is, the past is gone. We've got to look forward now. For all those we lost. Turtles. My old nemesis. <gasps> Two, we've lost contact with a number of survivors in your area. They were reporting sightings of some new kind of Britain. I think I found the way through. Mm -hmm. Loader! We need to reload. Locked. Taking this. Bandage is here. I'll take this. Bandages.
keep your eyes and ears open. Well, at least the air quality has improved since the collapse. Could come in handy. Sniper rifle. Ammo. Just what I want. You handy the hat. SMG over here. Huh. Keep your beams low. Don't want to draw unnecessary attention. SMG Ammo Need to reload Did you hear that? Just what I wanted. Fire in the hole! Ammo here.
say no to an extra mag? Oh, sweet sanctuary! I see we've got the uh, church level here.
So that's an example of the gameplay. Um, I didn't realize that my NVIDIA share was still broken. So it, it probably cut out there for like 30 minutes before I realized it. I was just fucking talking to myself, I guess. Um, one of the things I haven't really noticed is, is like, if you're used to Left 4 Dead, it had an AI concept that what was, they call the director, which would determine, you know, how many zombies to throw at you, whether or not to throw a, a horde at you, or, like, you know, spawn a whole bunch of specials at the same time, based on how well you were doing at the game. And that's what led to, like, most of, of the fun gameplay of Left 4 Dead was, like, not knowing what was going to happen. No two plays of, of the same campaign or, or even the same area or chapter were ever going to be the same because of that. Um, granted, like, they may all have started out the same. Uh, like, for instance, No Mercy, like, the, the end of that sh campaign when you get to the hospital roof, always starts out the same, like 100% no matter what. But, you know, what happens after you you hit the radio and call the chopper is completely different every time. So I haven't really noticed a concept like that in this game yet. Granted, I've only played like three full campaigns, but uh, it doesn't... It, at least, I mean, this is the beta, so can't really judge it too hard yet but it doesn't seem to have that that uh, constant game mechanic so pretty much each uh, playthrough of, of each um, chapter that I've done it's been the same like the only wild card is, is whether or not a uh, whatever those guys are called the guys with the huge arms is whether or not one of those like basher guys shows up. Like in the the one I just did, that was the most of the specials. Stranglers or I don't know what they're called. But that was the most specials I've ever seen in like one level of this game. So maybe it does, and I just haven't played enough. I don't know. Either way, I mean I I think the game is pretty good so far. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of the dialogue. Or the voice acting. I don't think they really needed to go the the Walking Dead realistic route here of everyone, you know, having to share their emotions and, and all this bullshit. Versus Left 4 Dead where, you know, but basically every voice line was entertaining. <laughs> like, it was, they were rarely ever being serious about anything. Um... That's the main difference that I've really noticed in this game. But whatever. Uh, hopefully it comes out soon. I, I really don't know the the release date now that it's been delayed so many times. But that's back for blood in a nutshell.